the t Tembaletu helped us a lot as a family because of, first of all, they provided a coffin for us, they brought chairs, and they brought food for the funeral. Then we could have not have done it if Tembaletu was not there. The Tembaletu, I'll tell them a bit. The help that I got from Tembaletu is that when my cousin was sick of HIV and AIDS, uh, we used to get food parcel from Tembaletu, and people from Tembaletu used to come and take care of my cousin and clean the house and and give and give my my cousin if medication. If Tembaletu was not there for us as a family, it was gonna be tough to carry this burden alone. But thanks God, Tembaletu was there to ease the burden for us. When did you start uh, getting help from Tembaletu? 2007. From 2007? Yeah. Okay, what kind of help did you get from Tembaletu home base camp? In English. Yeah, you can say it, Mr. Swati, I will, I will translate. Okay. Tembaletu started helping me when I was, um, I was in grade 4. I mean, when I was in grade 6. Yeah. And there was a white lady who used to work for Tembaletu. At, uh, under the program Kulisa. If Tembale didn't come through for me, I, I was going to be at home. Probably maybe I would have a baby now, not doing much. But thanks to Tembale to that, uh, I'm, I'm here now and I'm, I'm studying. Okay, she would say thanks to Tembale to that even though I'm an orphan, but at least I also stand a good chance as other young people that I'm here at school now.